Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Guess what time it is. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's time to plant seeds. Let's get going. More okay coming. guys, now we're back. We are getting ready to start a bunch of seeds. What am I doing? Uh, all I'm doing right now are basil. Uh, I'm gonna do three different types. I, I did them last year and uh, they do very, very, very well. Um, actually, I bagged up a whole bunch that I had dried. I was looking over my shoulder. I guess I'd already packed them away. Um, but we are gonna do some uh, Genovese basil, some sweet basil, some spicy saber, all of which are really good. And they all have kind of a typical basil flavor, just a little bit of different notes. And we're also gonna do some miniature basil. And we're gonna do this on a different part of the property. Actually, we're gonna have different spots for these guys. I have my tray set up. Uh, 72 sale, something like that. And yeah, we'll see how many uh, basil we plant because half of these end up end up selling maybe 10 and then I give away about 20. So this is what I do. I do this for myself. People at church, uh, my mom, my sister, anybody that really wants them. And I just sell them to recover the cost. So once I hit three bucks worth, they're free. Um, so that is what I'm doing. We're getting ready to do it. This is some of the dirt that we have uh, purchased last year. They had a clearance on uh, the small bags of dirt from Walmart and they were a dollar a bag. So we bought 25 bags. This is potting soil um, or seed starting mix. So this is gonna be really good. I'm excited about this. I have missed planting um we are also going to uh do a whole lot of different stuff this weekend if i have time we're going to get the uh the hydroponics set up and get it going again so it's going to be a really good weekend i just got home five hours of driving work today too so it has been a long day already and we may not end up doing a live stream tonight because the Hooch and I are gonna go out to celebrate our anniversary, which she had uh, the cough over the anniversary. So we will uh, probably be going out to eat, but let's get started. Okay, now we're back. I went ahead and started uh, some little bitty holes with the end of my Sharpie. And I did them down about half inch, which they collapse, the sides do, so it doesn't go half an inch. So it's not a big, big deal. These are burpee sweet basil. And you guys have done this before. Got one more seed stuck in there. And we're just gonna go over here and do a gracious pinch. Like I said, I'm not terribly concerned about wasting because if I was concerned about wasting it, I wouldn't be giving the dang things away nearly. So I'll probably see if surviving in Alabama, won't see any of these, I'll give him a bunch too. Uh, basil is just a wonderful fresh herb, very powerful antibiotic also. Uh, I've done videos, uh, if you look back, the time that I was bitten by the dog and I wrapped it in basil leaves and taped it up. And I did like a two week, something like that video on it. And it worked out very well. Obviously, I made it through go and I have enough to do half of okay these. guys now we're More back down. just an interesting side note sweet basil by burpee 
has 600 milligrams of seed for $1.69. Spicy Saber has 200 milligrams for $1.69. Again, burpee. Genevieve's Basil has 300 milligrams. Again, for $1.69. It's interesting. The uh, Spicy Saber seems to be uh, more of a higher priced seed. Uh, I spread them a little thinner and uh, We'll get these guys in the ground. One of the things you do need to remember, if you have bought dirt and you just tossed it in the greenhouse and in bags and we're waiting on the good weather to start planting, it can really be hydrophobic. It, that is, it can really have dried out over the winter and it will be really hard to get water to soak in the first time. Just bear that in mind. Uh, you don't want to flood your seeds out of your cells, um, but just gently sprinkle it or spray it over there and that will take care of it. More to come. All right, guys, now we're back. We're going to uh, put this on a seed mat, uh, put it under some lights. Not that we need to, it's just I've got space. Um, you don't really need to put them under lights until they germinate. Um, you don't need to do any kind of special fertilization until they germinate, unless you just want to. There's no right or wrong. As long as your seeds get started, it is all good. If you don't have space, put them on top of your uh, refrigerator. A lot of people do that. And uh, just make sure you remember to water them. It's a lot warmer up there. We're gonna wrap it up. I am excited. It is time to start planting. Take care of your people, guys.